This episode is brought to you by Legacy Swim Academy. Legacy Swim, get your kids in the pool. Q-Tip time, everyone. It's me, Hamid Al-Ammari, a.k.a. The Qatari Guy. Now I'm back here again with another episode of Q-Tips. Today, I'm going to be talking about the most dangerous thing in the world. How to get a driver's license to drive in Qatar. It's not as easy as walking in with your international license and swapping it for a Qatari driver's license, even if you've been driving for 25 years. This isn't Twitter. We don't let anyone in. First step is you need to download the application form from the Ministry of Interior website. Tim, put the link. We'll put the link in the comment section below so it makes it easier for you. Number two, you need to go get an eye test. Make sure that you can actually see. And then you're gonna have to get someone to sign off that the eye test that you did is right. And then they can go, all right, next step. So you filled the application, your eyes work, and the man signed off on them. Now what you need to do is go back through your archives. Get your first issued license, second issued license, old passports, all official documentation, all of it. Put it in one big folder and march your way down to the traffic department and say, here you go, I want a license. What do you do next? You get a theory test. Make sure you get the book from them. There's a booklet, all the questions. You learn the answers, which basically is testing your ability to memorize things. Don't use the app, it hasn't been updated. It's not as quick and it's not as efficient as memorizing the book. You're scheduled for your test. You go and answer and then you pass. So now you've done your written test. You have done all of this and you still haven't touched the car but you want to get into the car and do your driving test. One last thing we need to check. Do your eyes really work? You'll do a quick eye test. There's a poster with a bunch of signs and letters and you have to do one of these. And the car's over there. I can see the car. I can see all of those things. Can I drive? Can I get a license? So now you've passed the second eye exam and you need to drive a car. You think it's easy, you think you go, you get a new license, it's done. No, you have to do the official, actual, physical driving of the car test, which they'll schedule probably five days after you've done the second eye exam. Now you're gonna get in the car, you're gonna do the actual driving test. You're going to drive the car and there's going to be a member of the traffic police in the car with you. He's gonna have a little score sheet. Make sure you score all the right points to get a driver's license. If you don't pass, you have to do all of that again. How am I doing? Did I pass my test? Finish! Out! No license! Technically, you just reschedule the driver's test, but I just thought I'd make it look so... <sighs> daunting. Okay, so how much have you spent going through all that? There is a fee for everything. There's a fee for the registration, the stamps, fee for the eye test, fee for the theory, fee for the driving test. There's fees for everything. So between 400 to 700 reals is how much you're going to spend. Having said that, not everyone has to go through that process. There are certain nationalities that can come in and do a straight swap and other nationalities because they drive on the other side of the road. They'll have to do a minimum of 15 hours of driving school before they can apply for a test to get a driver's license. Even talking about it seems hard. But hey, if you're a good driver, shouldn't be that hard. Ask me. Passed on my first go. I was 17. That has nothing to do with my practice stealing my uncle's car at the age of 14. I never did that. Never. And now it's time for comment of the week. And this week's comment is from Bjorn Ironside. How do Qataris use the toilet when wearing a thobe? Now, see, the thing is, I knew that it would be me who's chosen to answer comments like this. But Bjorn, use your imagination, buddy. What would be the easiest way, huh? In the new. Bucket naked! Bucket naked! I mean, just, you know, just think about it. It's gotta stay white, brother. Gotta stay clean. Come on now, Bjorn. You don't always wear a thobe. But over the years, become experts. I challenge you to wear a thobe, go to the toilet, and come out, still dry, baby. I'm waiting. I'll give you some time though. Your dad and your brother. I'm sorry to hear about that. I'll give you some time. But after you mourn, I want to see a video of you with a thobe on the toilet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's it from me here at Q-Tips. Don't forget to click the bell.